even bear up their prices. In this context, up is a verb, means to increase or raise. I need to up my exercise routine if I want to lose weight. Can you up the volume on the TV? I can't hear the dialogue. And they keep calling this brown hole. Just don't have the money or the reputation. Don't take it personally. Don't take it personally. It is often used to advise someone not to feel hurt or offended by something said or done to them. It suggests that the other person's actions or words were not intended to be a reflection on the person themselves, but rather a result of a situation or circumstance. Essentially, it's a way of telling someone not to be too sensitive or emotional about a particular issue, and to avoid feeling personally attacked or insulted by it. I don't think I have this trip coming me tonight. I'm just going to get some ginger ale and watch some pay-per-view. I'll... Book us some flights out for the morning. A deal. We need a deal, right? A deal. Um, we need a deal we can afford, we need a deal that they're, they're not going to refuse, so what can we do? We can... The double-A tranches. What if we bet against the double-A tranches? Tranche is a financial term that refers to a portion or slice of a larger investment or debt that is divided into smaller parts. Each tranche typically has its own interest rate, maturity date, and payment schedule. The company issued $1 billion in bonds, which were divided into three tranches, each with different yields and maturities. It's not going to take that bet. We know that they say they're 95% AAA rated, but in reality, they're more like 25%. Some of them are 0%. We also know that if the bottom tranches fail at over 8%, the upper tranches are affected, they go to zero. I'll bet you right now that those double A's are actually like B's. I rarely ever say these words, but I think Charlie's right. Rarely. On very few occasions, almost never. She rarely eats meat because she is a vegetarian. I rarely go to the movies because I prefer to read. He rarely loses his temper, but when he does, it's best to stay out of his way. Look, Ben. The payoff. Payoff. Money received from a business arrangement or an investment. The investment is going to produce a payoff of $10,000. Pay off. Money that is paid to someone so that they do not cause trouble or to persuade them to leave their job. He denied receiving any payoffs for giving a large contract to the company. Pay off. A result that rewards you for your effort or work. After years of study, the payoff is supposed to be a good job. It's 200 to 1, but they're all taking the ratings of face value. The face value of a financial instrument represents its nominal or stated value, which may or may not reflect its current market value. So they're charging pennies on the dollar to bet against the double A's. Bet against means that an investor or trader makes a financial bet that a particular asset, like a stock or a currency, will decrease in value rather than increase. For example, if an investor thinks that the price of a particular stock is going to decline, they may bet against the stock by short selling it. Just when I start thinking you guys are clowns. 
I start thinking you guys are clowns. Is a statement indicating that the speaker has a negative opinion of the people he is referring to. In this case, clowns is being used as an insult to suggest that the people being referred to are foolish, incompetent, or unprofessional. No one on the planet is betting against AA. The banks will think we're either high or having a stroke. A stroke. Also known as a cerebrovascular accident. Is a medical emergency that occurs when the blood supply to a part of the brain is interrupted or reduced, leading to damage or death of brain cells. And they'll take every dime we have to offer. Kind of brilliant. <laughs> this is what we did that no one else thought of. Not even Bomber Barry thought to short the double A's. In this context, short refers to the practice of selling a security. The investor decided to short the company's stock after reviewing its poor financial results. But we did. Little brown hole capital. So we're interested in shorting some of the double-A tranche of uh, CDOs. CDO, collateralized debt obligation, is a type of investment that combines lots of different loans, like home loans or credit card debts, into one big package. This package is then divided into smaller parts, or tranches, with each part having different levels of risk and potential reward. Investors can choose which part to invest in based on how much risk they want to take. Come on guys, what's the angle? What's the angle? Is a common idiom that means what's the hidden motive or agenda? Or what's the real purpose or intention behind what is being said or done? For example, if someone is offering you a deal that seems too good to be true, you might ask what's the angle to find out what their hidden motive might be. Similarly, if a politician is pushing a particular policy, you might ask what's the angle to understand what they stand to gain from it. In Europe, Freddy, gardens take centuries to grow and cultivate. But this one was about to die until Mrs. Everson's brooch paid for its preservation. What's the angle? There is no angle. I've got no angle. We're new to this. We're just so excited. we want to do 15 million in swaps on the double A tranche. Swap is an agreement between two parties to exchange something of value. In finance, swaps involve exchanging one financial asset, such as a cash flow or a liability, for another financial asset at a predetermined rate or price. I don't understand. You can buy as much double-A tranche as you want. <laughs> 40 million against the double-A. Brother, I will sell you as much as you want. You understand perfectly, Bob. You want the deal? Celebrate. We just bet against the American economy. Fuck yeah, we did. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Which means, oh. which means, <laughs> if we're right, if we're right, people lose homes, people lose jobs, people lose retirement savings, people lose pensions. Pension. A regular income paid by a government or a financial organization to someone who no longer works, usually because of their age or health. You know what I hate about fucking banking? It reduces people to numbers. Here's a number. Every 1% unemployment goes up, 40,000 people die. Did you know that? No. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. We were just excited. Even bear up their prices. And they keep calling this brown hole. Just don't have the money or the reputation. Don't take it personal. I don't think I have this trip coming in me tonight. I'm just gonna get some ginger ale and watch some pay-per-view. I'll book us some flights after the morning. 
a d deal. We need a deal, right? A deal. Um, we need a deal we can afford. We need a deal that they're not, they're not going to refuse. So, what can we do? We can... The double A tranches. What if we bet against the double A tranches? Who's not going to take that bet? We know that they say they're 95% triple A rated, but in reality, they're more like 25%. Some of them are 0%. We also know that if the bottom tranches fail at over 8%, the upper tranches are affected, they go to zero. I'll bet you right now that those double A's are actually like B's. I rarely ever say these words, but I think Charlie's right. Look, Ben, the payoff is 200 to one, but they're all taking the ratings at face value. So they're charging pennies on the dollar to bet against the double A's. Just when I started thinking you guys are clowns, no one on the planet is betting against double A. The banks will think we're either high or having a stroke, and they'll take every dime we have to offer. Kind of brilliant. <laughs> this is what we did that no one else thought of. Not even Bomber Barry thought to short the double A's. But we did. Little brown hole capital. So we're interested in shorting some of the double-A tranche of uh, CDOs. Come on, guys, what's the angle? I'll get no angle. We're new to this. We're just so excited. So we want to do 15 million in swaps on the double-A tranche. I don't understand. You can buy as much double-A tranche as you want. <laughs> 40 million against the double-A. Brother, I will sell you as much as you want. You understand perfectly, Bob. You want the deal? Celebrate. We just bet against the American economy. Fuck yeah, we did. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Which means. Oh. Which means <laughs> if we're right, if we're right, people lose homes, people lose jobs, people lose retirement savings, people lose pensions. You know what I hate about fucking banking? It reduces people to numbers. Here's a number. Every 1% unemployment goes up. 40,000 people die. Did you know that? No. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. We were just excited, you know, 